Guys, this is going to be a really quick intro. Um, I don't want to drag this out, I just want to make it really short. But I do want to explain, this is kind of like an update video of where I'm at right now. Um, I'm not going to stop going for Max, obviously that's still one of the biggest goals I have right now. But um, I am really wanting to, um, and for quite some time I've been wanting to go for the Inferno, I just haven't been able to afford the gear. But I kind of got really lucky, uh, you guys are going to be seeing here in about 20 seconds probably. But yeah, I, I'll explain more about like kind of my goals here in the next few weeks um, throughout this video. So enjoy the video, guys. Yeah, I didn't it's expect us to get anything there. Move. I had 20k points out of a five man. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. Hey. You have a funny feeling. Ah! No, don't believe you. Not even slightly. Twisted bow and pat. Yeah, please. No. Yeah, I'm at 30k points right now. Yeah, I'm at 27a. I have no clue why they're showing up on the right side of my screen. That is weird. Wait a second. No, that's how I normally have it. Oh! <laughs> Do you want Twisted Bow? No way. Nothing. Okay, so that Vasa took us 20 minutes to kill. That is why it took us 20 minutes to kill. My heart is beating right now. <laughs> I'm telling the CC man. I can't believe that. Oh my god. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Nothing, we got some. Um... I'm not even joking, dude. Oh. Wow. <gasps> oh, man. That... <sighs> Were you recording? Yes. Yep. Yep. I got it. Oh, my God. I'm fucking shaking. <gasps> you going to post that in the Discord? I already did. I did post it in yours, but it's in mine. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Shaking. My heart is beating like crazy right now. How do I look? <laughs> Oh, fuck. Keep your pimp hands strong, dude. <laughs> How do I look? Oh man, that is that is actually unreal. That's how it works, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the fifty bill. <laughs> Come on. Um, where is it? Get ready for the number. Yes, that's all oh, that is. That is juicy, man. 534 mil. Yes, man. I'm going to screenshot that. Thank you for the raid. Yeah, thanks for the raid. That, my bank just doubled. Legit doubled. L legit doubled. All right, guys. Well, I've done a lot of thinking now. Now that I got the 534 mil, I know what I want to do. I want to go on a shopping spree. But that, that's amazing. I, I can't believe I just got a duo Tebow. That's the dream right there. I mean, obviously, the dream is the solo, but the duo is the next thing you want. I'm going to get myself some Ancestral because I do a lot of raids anyways, and I'm not planning on stopping. I just Honestly, I love doing raids in the game, so I'm just going to keep doing them. Let's go ahead and buy that. I'll drop that in for mid-price. Um, I'll just try to buy everything for med price if it doesn't buy I'll up the price later but this will be the first time I get my hands on some ancestral so there's that um, well I've used ancestral before but I've borrowed it from people the other big buy that's going to set me back is going to be an Ellie but this is the shield I need for the inferno I am planning on grinding that out and I just got my cash for it so oh man it feels so good though I'm going to leave that in there, but we got ourselves basically Ancestral and an Elijah, so got an extra 22 mil to spare. I guess I could see if I can get myself an Imbued Heart, because I need that for the Inferno as well. There we go. There's all of our money spent right off the bat. Obviously, like I could sell it all back later, but I think the next grind I really want to do is the Inferno. But that is absolutely beautiful. So literally the only thing we're missing for the Inferno is a Kodai Wand and a T-Bow. Which I have friends that are willing to lend me T-Bows, which is really awesome that I have people that trust me with a T-Bow. 
And then at Code I Wanda, I can actually probably sell some other stuff in my bank just to get it done. But yeah, let's go ahead and put this in here, and we need to find a spot to put an imbued heart because I actually don't even have a uh, placeholder in here. Probably rip one of these things out. Oh, that is definitely nice. It just, that just made my day. That is literally the dream, the duo T-bow. So it doesn't seem to be wanting to buy right now. Ancestral's kind of rising, but I really want to buy this. I just put in huge offers. I have a feeling that nobody's selling Ancestral Top right now. I don't know how commonly traded of an item this is, but I'll just leave it at this for a little while. We might uh, get impatient and raise the price a little bit later, but as you can see, I'm also buying some Dragon Darts because those are going to be going into the Inferno later. But yeah, I'm definitely looking pretty good right now. The Ellie did buy, though. That's really cool. It's definitely the best shield for Fashion Skate. And it's like best in slot at Armadale. I'll start doing Armadale now. I'm actually going to go unlock that as a task. Actually, before I forget, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> okay, it doesn't look like I can do it. I only have 66 points on here. Um, where is it at, though? For when I do want to unlock. Okay, literally, it's only 80 points. Literally, once I'm done with this task, I can unlock it again. Well, that's pretty nice, I guess. I'll just have to remember to do that. All right, here we go. It just reset. Another best in slot item we could get right now is the Falador Shield 4. So I'm going to try and boost that up with rune crafting. Let's see. Because that is actually currently my last task. I need to get 88 rune crafting boost and then craft these. All right. Hey, there we go. Let's go ahead and drop everything. Pure Essence. All right, so we ended up getting the 88% boost. We still got 20 seconds left. Let's go ahead and do it. This is the last task for Falador. There we go. So we have all but one now. It's just Karamja. Then we're completely done with the Achievement Diaries. It's actually really nice to get out of the way. All right, so here's the guy I talked to, and he'll give me my Elite Shield. Let's see. What's the reward? I upgraded your Falador Shield for you. The Tree Patch and Falador will never become diseased. Oh, I forgot about that. That actually is pretty nice. But here's the main reason I end up getting this Falador Shield. It's going to be an Inferno item that I'm going to use. Uh, the Shield will restore all your prayer points twice per day. So basically a Falador Shield is better than taking like an extra restore because basically two full recharges on your prayer is more than just one full restore. Also he's saying there's an increased chance of getting higher level ores from the pay dirt. Hey, I guess that's pretty nice. I might be doing some of that to 99 mining. But yeah that's another shield out of the way. Or not shield, another Inferno item out of the way. I don't even know what I'm saying. There's 50k agility XP, bringing us to 88 agility. That doesn't do anything for us, but it's another level, so that's kind of cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and deposit this, and we're going to move this up here where it used to be. And now we have everything in Elite except the Karamja Gloves. But let's go ahead and show you the stats of this. I actually don't know the stats of the Falador Shield, so I'm kind of interested. I guess let's compare it to an Ellie. It's kind of unfair, but Ellie has a three prayer bonus. I believe this has a really good prayer bonus. Yeah, it has five. It's not a very good shield, I guess, but the prayer bonus isn't bad. But pretty much the biggest thing about it is that you can uh, recharge your prayer. Oh, that's another good thing. Our Ancestral Chop did buy, and we're also buying some Dragon Darts. All right, guys, so pretty much this is what my gear setup is going to be for the Inferno. Just swap that out with a Kodai Wand, and then swap this out with a Tebow. But yeah, I have a couple friends that wouldn't mind lending me a Tebow, so that's really nice, and that's really awesome they would let me do that. And then for the Kodai Wand, the other guy that actually got the split on the Tebow, he bought a Kodai Wand and I bought an Ellie, and we're actually both going to go for the Inferno, and just whenever he's not doing it, he'll let me use the Kodai Wand, and whenever I'm not doing it, I'll let him use my Ellie. But yeah, now there's literally no reason for me to not go for this Inferno, so hopefully in the next, like, week or so, maybe... Maybe longer than that. To be honest, guys, I think that's pretty much it for this video. It's just kind of me uh, giving you guys an update of what's happened and what I'm planning on going for next. Obviously, I'm still going for Max. That's a big thing. And somebody just ended up finding me. That's kind of cool. But, yeah, that's pretty much just an update, guys. And, um, yeah, I hope you liked the video. <laughs> I just got super lucky with that Debo. I still can't believe that. But till next time, guys, I'll see you later. Peace out.